Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are going to be answering is, what's in the box? What I have here in my hands is a ridiculously heavy RPG starter set from Free League Publishing for their new Alien, the role-playing game, uh, pen and paper role-playing game. Uh, this is based on the 20th Century Fox movie, Alien, and the Alien series, which I am a huge fan of. Uh, as far as I know, it uses um, their normal, the their one roll, not one roll engine, Mutant Year Zero, their Year Zero engine, but I haven't confirmed that. We'll find that out tonight. There's a bunch of D6s in here. We're going to learn that it does use that engine. So this is the newest starter set for the Alien RPG. This is all that is required to play. If you own this, you can actually play any of the published modules. You don't necessarily need the core rulebook. Uh, this is an alternative to the core rulebook. So this is, again, from Free League Publishing, who I do have to thank for sending me a review copy of this game. So thank you very much, Free League. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off the back of this box. The job was routine, the money fair. Then the damn company diverted you to, an answer, to answer a distress call from a ship that disappeared almost 80 years ago. A derelict carrying something bizarre, twisted, and alien. What the ship's frozen crew brought back with them was bad enough. What they themselves were turning into was a bloody nightmare. Add to that an annoying sensor ghost shadowing you in the void. And your stress level is shot. It's all a bit much. You don't get paid enough to deal with monsters. But hold your breath, count to three, and play your cards right with this one. You just might walk away very rich. Oh, who am I kidding? You're all going to die. This is a starter set for the official Alien Tabletop role-playing game, a universe of bloody horror and corporate brinksmanship, where synthetic people play God while space truckers and marines play host to newborn ghoulish creatures. It's a harsh and unforgiving universe, and you are nothing if not expendable. That paragraph right there is fantastic. That makes me want to play more than the first one. Uh, it does have a list of what's in here, but you know what? We're going to show that off on the table over here, so I'm not going to bother reading that out. So the only thing I'm going to do before moving over is cut the shrink wrap off. All right, here we go. We have the Alien RPG starter set from Freely Publishing. Really sweet looking cover, I got to say. Uh, let's show off the back really quick. Just a bunch of text, which I just read to you. Look at all the stuff. There we go. There's the D6s with the 6S hits. We knew that was coming. Those are nice. Those are really nice. Oh, there's two different colors of dice. And there's something special on the ones. Oh, and there's a catalog and desiccant packages. Oh, my. All right, we're going to start with the catalog. We have the Free League Publishing Game Catalog showing off. Oh, it's mostly blue. That's not going to work over there. Um, showing off all the great games like the Alien Box Set and other stuff like Forgotten Midlands. I am really hyped about that game. That game looks fantastic. I love Tales for the Loop. Check out my other unboxing videos. You can see what comes in this starter set. Um, then we have other stuff from them. Um, anyway. We're not worried about promoting their stuff, are we? All right, we're going to look at these dice first because these are really cool. So the system this is based on, which is the Year Zero engine, requires you to roll a dice pool, a bunch of dice, looking for sixes. And what they've done here is made it nice for you to have them with the sixes highlighted as different symbols. Wow, I'm rolling really good tonight. So we have two sixes. There is a nice handful of these dice in here. Great looking black on white. Those are some of the easiest to read dice I have ever seen in my life. I love those. Those are fantastic. Great looking dice. Thumbs up so far. Looking good so far. Now we have more dice. These ones are different and I don't know what's going to happen with these compared to the other games I know from this system. We have yellow dice. We have yellow dice with that creepy face hugger on it. I love it. That's awesome. And then the sixes again are that symbol, which I don't happen to recognize offhand, but it's probably something from the alien universe. So nice, big handful of nice yellow dice. Great looking. I'm impressed by that right there. Two nice sets of themed alien dice for the win. All right, we have cards. These are on next on top, so we're going to crack these open. All right, we're going to see what we got. We have personal agenda. We got a bunch of those. So we're gonna take a stack of those. You know what we're gonna do is so we're gonna move this back a bit. I'm gonna make a stack here. Personal agenda. Then we have pictures of people's faces. 
Then we have weapons. Then we have initiative. Oh, then we have more personal agenda. A whole bunch more personal agenda. Just in case these are something special, different. More faces, more weapons. And more initiatives. So just in case there's something different about these, like for different scenarios, I don't want to mix them up. So let's take a quick look at the personal agenda cards. So there we have uh, the one side. The other side is a bunch of text, which doesn't say a lot here. Uh, what I do like are these have a really nice linen finish. You can Actually there, you can see it there. Really nice linen finish. They're not going to slide around. They are a little thin, but not too thin. So it looks like people have different agendas during different acts. I don't want to spoil anything here, so we're not going to show any more of those. Then we have what look like crew cards. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of blue on these crew cards, so they're not looking too good. And we have a whole bunch of text again. So crew card with image, text on the back. Then we get into weapons. That looks like some type of flamethrower, and I would assume the stats are on the back. That's what I would assume that means. We have the stats, it's damage to, range medium, cost, and so on. So there's a stack of these, a whole bunch of weapons here. Then we have initiative cards. Oh, let's just say one, two, three, four. And again, one, two. So I don't know why there's two sets of these. So there are two sets of these cards, and I don't know why. So that's what we got card-wise, and I'm going to put these back together in the order they were in, just so I don't mix them up in case that matters. Oh, the initiative set for there. This initiative set with these. So you go, significant set of cards there. That, that's not a not a small stack of cards. They are very thin. I gotta say, like I love the gloss finish, but you can see the initiative cards are already got a little bit of a bend in them already. These are very thin cards, but nice finish. Not the thickest card quality. All right, what we got? Stars of the Middle Heavens. Oh, this is a map. Okay, I there is no way I am gonna fit this all in camera. Oh, this is actually sweet. Wow. Okay, look at this thing. It's huge. We have a huge map. You know what? Here. Let's see how far back I gotta get to show this thing off. We have no nope, uh, angle more. Map, huge map, and then really cool, sci-fi fans are going to love this. Look at these floor plans. That is really sweet. I love it. I love the look of that. The quality on this is fantastic. It's a nice, thick, it's not even paper. It's like um, plasticized. Yeah, it's just paper, but it's like card. Okay, awesome looking map. Next, Chariot of the Gods. This is thick, holy cow. Look at the thickness on this. I think this is the adventure, so I don't wanna spoil anything here. I'm just gonna flip through a couple random pages. Nice glossy art. Not a huge fan of bright white text on a black background. I personally find that hard to read sometimes. There you go. This is a significantly thick adventure or whatever here. There's an appendix. This, we are looking at 47 pages. Yeah, this is definitely an adventure, so I don't want to spoil anything here. Then it looks like we got some pre-generated characters who do not appear to be the characters in the movie. So now these were back to super thin. These are paper thin, paper thin character sheets. I can try to put this under here, but again, the blue is not going to show up very well. A lot of blue on black. And then we have a very unique looking character sheet compared to many RPGs I've seen. I'll try to throw that up over here, but I can't quite zoom out enough. So you can kind of see the majority of that character sheet here. So we have Cham the Roughneck. There's still a lot of stuff to go through in here. We have Davis the Pilot. Definitely not the characters from the movies that I know of. I don't recognize any of these. Miller, an officer. Rye, another Roughneck. 
Wilson, the company agent. All right, now we get to the rules. This is what I was expecting to see in here. Wow! That is... I, I have purchased RPG rule books that are thinner than that. That is a nice, soft cover, full rule book there. Like, wow. Look at the thickness on this. Look at that. Oh. We are looking at... 100 pages even. Nope, sorry, a little more. 103 and an index, 104, 104 pages with index. I love that cover art. Again, it's blue, so I can't show it off. I should have chroma keyed green. All right, we're just gonna grab some random sections here. Oh, I like the layout here. It's a nice looking book. That is a nice looking book. Okay, I'm gonna have a hard time getting this reviewed by Wednesday. <laughs> A real hard time. This is this is not a thin, quick starter set style box. This is like a full game. Other hazards, gear, great looking artwork here. Looks great. Then we have a punch board. Finish off with a punch board with all kinds of characters, tokens. Well, there you go. Now you can see these counters up close. So we have a bunch of status effects. We have different aliens, we have different characters, a whole bunch of punch boards. Here's the backs of them. Oh, even better, the aliens, you're not going to know what they are. Getting Shades of Space Hulk here. Very cool. So that's it. There's the punch boards. And that's it. That's what you get. But you know what? That's it. it that That's saying a lot. This is a, look at all the stuff in here. This is crazy for an RPG starter set. This book alone, I like this justifies the cost. Look at that. Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 3rd Edition. The books that used to come in the splat books were this thick. That is fantastic for a starter set. That is full rules. We have one, two, three, four, five pre generated characters. And Chariot of the Gods Adventure, which again, nice thick book. We're looking at over 45 pages. Venture and a really cool map that is just very neat with a bunch of stuff. A whole pack of cards, including personal agendas and equipment and crew cards. And two very cool sets of dice. That is everything you get in the Alien, the role-playing game starter set from Freely Publishing. All right, there you have it. Everything you get in the Alien RPG, Alien the Role-Playing Game Starter Set from Free League Publishing. I'm impressed. This is a heavy, dense, thick box. Lots of stuff in here. A full rule book. Not a starter set rule book. It doesn't say it's quick start rules or anything like that. This looks like it's the full rules for the full RPG. I can't confirm that. What I do see is no blank character sheets. But one of the differences... From this starter set in the full core rulebook is this is obviously not going to have any character creation rules. There's an adventure in here that looks nice and thick. you got a map. You've got tokens. So you have character tokens, alien tokens, status effect tokens, and cards, including some hidden agendas. So I think there's going to be some uh, interesting role-playing opportunities here where everyone may not be quite working together as well as you'd hoped. I'm really impressed by what I saw in this box set. So this is the Alien RPG box set from Free League. Again, thank you, Free League, for sending a review copy of this. I am really looking forward to checking this out. When I do check it out, you will be able to re read my review on our blog at tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, you don't have to remember that. You can just click up here and find a link up here. The other thing you'll find a link to there is uh, to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Tabletop Bellhop. If you dig this video and you like our content, it'd be awesome if you consider tipping the bellhop. That's it for me for this particular unboxing video. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Good night and game on.